Welcome back. In part one, I discussed some of the issues and the compromises that have to be made when using the traditional approach of running an optimization followed by a walk forward validation. In this part, I'm going to explain how the process called walk forward analysis can be used in order to address these issues and provide answers to the compromises. But first, we all need to get a common understanding of what the walk forward analysis process looks like and how it works. So the key difference is that walk forward analysis splits the optimization process into multiple individual stages. So let's break this down and have a look at each. So in the first stage, this looks very similar and is very similar to the traditional approach. We have an optimization phase using in sample data and a walk forward validation phase using out of sample data. And in an identical way, the most robust parameter values from the first optimization are then passed into the walk forward validation phase. But stage two is where it starts to get interesting. Here, the optimization window is pushed forward so that the end of the optimization period is the same as the end of the previous walk forward, but the duration of the optimization remains the same. So this second optimization is performed to produce a new set of parameter values. And it's these new values that are passed forward now to the walk forward validation. Now note that these values may well be different from the parameter values that were obtained from the first optimization, because clearly in this second stage, the trading system has been subject to different market regimes compared to those in the first optimization. Now, of course, there is still a lot of overlap, so it's likely that the parameters won't be hugely different, but there is likely to be some difference there. This process of multiple stages then gets repeated again and again, with each optimization identifying the optimal parameter values for whatever the market is doing at that time. Now, the final optimization that's performed that takes us right up to the current date is sometimes called a pre live optimization. And here, these aren't used to produce parameter values for a walk forward phase. They're of course used to produce the parameter values that we will use in a live trading context. So let's now go back and look at the issues that were inherent with the traditional approach. So first of all, we had a relatively short walk forward validation phase, which caused us issues in terms of statistical significance and the confidence we could have in those results. However, look what happens when using walk forward analysis. Here, each walk forward phase produces its own part of the walk forward equity curve. And so by combining the results from each of those walk forward phases into a single out of sample equity curve, you can see that the cumulative size is far bigger than previously. In fact, in this example with five stages and an optimization to walk forward ratio of three to one, the cumulative walk forward duration is actually five eighths of the entire period. And so this much longer validation period gives us a much higher confidence in the out of sample results and also means that it gives us that confidence that overfitting has not occurred. Now let's turn our attention to the issues with the optimization phase in the traditional approach. So here we identified both advantages and disadvantages of a longer optimization period but also advantages and disadvantages of a shorter optimization period. But again, when using walk forward analysis, let's look at what this means. Well, firstly, because each of the individual optimizations gets repeatedly validated, it means that the probability of getting a overall successful validation by random chance is dramatically reduced therefore alleviating the issue around statistical significance. But also, 
And this is a really important point. The parameter selection for each out of sample stage is always based on the most recent market conditions. Therefore, the parameters that come out of each of those stages, including the pre-live optimization, are much more likely to be optimal for the conditions that are in play right now. And if that's the case, the impact of that is that the system is likely to perform much more reliably in those conditions. Now, in order to maintain that reliability, it does of course mean that the system needs to be intermittently re-optimized. And a good rule of thumb is to re-optimize at the same frequency as the duration of a walk forward phase. So in the example we used earlier with a full duration of 10 years, that means that this would be just over a year. So hopefully you can see how walk forward analysis can firstly alleviate a number of issues with traditional single stage optimizations and therefore provide a much more reliable and effective way of optimizing to get the best possible parameter values. Next week, I'll be covering a few of the more advanced considerations when using walk forward analysis and also provide advice on how to avoid a number of potential pitfalls associated to the technique. So please do remember to give me a thumbs up. That would be very much appreciated. And until next time, trade safe.